Well, it was obviously a, a, a life-changing, unknown thing, because one thing is each person with Parkinson's is very different, so there's no way of saying what will happen. So it's about accepting what you've got and working with that. In terms of prompting and cueing, uh, you know, Glass is a sensor platform, really. Like a mobile phone is a sensor platform. Uh, you know, it's something small that you can put in your pocket, you can wear, basically. Um, and it has all the different sensors on it, like the camera, like the accelerometer, that, uh, which is the movement sensor, um, and different things like that. And, you know, Glass has the same sensors on it. So the things that we could do on a mobile phone application based on a mobile, we could potentially do on Glass. Yeah, and John, John, John's got the recipe. Yeah, John. He loves John. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, take one different stick. Just tap it. Yeah. The difference w between glass and a phone, however, uh, is that for people with Parkinson's with symptoms like tremor or um, a general kind of slowness of movement, using traditional handheld. Uh, set handsets like uh, mobile touchscreen, mobile phones can be difficult for them, especially when they're out uh, by themselves and they have to go through the process of actually finding it and uh, you know manipulating the handset. Yeah. Okay, glass. When it's bigger text, it, um, tap. it's a tap one. There you go. Right. Photo of me. I'm imagining. I can't okay, see it. Glass. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's have a look at it. The rewind. There yes. you are. Wow. Such clarity. <laughs> oh god, look at that forehead. <laughs> that is a rinky. Share with... Send it to John Vines. Send a message to John Vines. Particularly one of the other symptoms of Parkinson's is um, slowness of movement and shuffling, essentially, as you walk. Um, so actually just having literally a grid which maps onto the, the plane of the ground, which shows you um, how you're moving through space, um, just to even just getting that visual feedback um, in terms of your motion at that particular moment in time is enough to keep you um, moving at a kind of a, an appropriate sort of speed and pace. Take it through all sorts of things that you want it to do. Can you call it a <laughs> I'd like it to be able to tell me how upright I am because there's a tendency with Parkinson's to have stiff muscles so you, you, your posture changes uh, so you're not upright, you, you bend forward so if it could say come upright. There's also a tendency for Parkinson's to have people who have a very low voice so they whisper so it's very hard to hear them so if part, Google Glass could have a monitor on it saying speak louder and more slower that would help. Uh, what else could it do? The, the endless apps could be invented for it. Sweep around yeah, and sweep have a around. little look. Wow. Uh, so do you want uh, to take sweep around? Yeah, sweep around. Wow. There is a tree. Yeah. The statues. The art of the University of Newcastle campus. That should, uh, of course, for 10 seconds now. Uh, so do you want to I loved it. I, I really did love it. It was great. I was saddened to have them taken off me. Take kettle to fill with water. Open the fridge to return the milk. Take the spoon and stir the tea. Stir the tea with the spoon. 